What is Credit Valuation Adjustment? Credit Valuation Adjustment CVA, represents the market value of counterparty credit risk, which arises when a borrower fails to fulfill their financial obligations. It measures the difference between the actual portfolio return taking into account the risk of counterparty default and the risk-free portfolio return. CVA is used to distinguish between risk-free and actual portfolios by factoring in the likelihood of default from counterparties. This adjustment reflects the credit spreads and market risk factors influencing the values of derivatives and exposures. The calculation of CVA considers various elements, including the credit quality of counterparties and any adverse issues that might heighten the risk of default over time. The concept gained prominence following notable sovereign defaults and corporate failures, especially during the 2008 financial crisis, which highlighted the significance of counterparty credit risk that had often been overlooked. Before this crisis, many market participants considered large derivative counterparties too big to fail, leading to insufficient assessments of counterparty risk. The aftermath of the crisis prompted the integration of CVA into the valuation of over-the-counter derivatives, accounting standards require the inclusion of CVA in mark-to-market reporting, which means banks' profits are affected by CVA volatility. To manage this volatility and mitigate risk, banks often purchase credit default swap CDS, protection on their counterparties. However, hedging against debt valuation adjustment DVA, is more complex since DVA increases as a bank's credit spread widens. In terms of valuation methodologies, organizations use various approaches to calculate CVA, including, one, simple approach, adjusts the mark-to-market value of an instrument to reflect counterparty risk through credit spreads, two, a swaption-type valuation, more complex, leveraging credit spreads to estimate the replacement value of an asset, three, a simulation modeling, involves simulating various market and risk factors to account for multiple outcomes, creating a comprehensive risk profile. Calculating CVA involves assessing net counterparty credit exposures and pricing the associated credit risk using relevant market inputs, such as interest rates and CDS spreads. The chosen valuation method often depends on an organization's sophistication and resource availability. Challenges in determining CVA include system limitations, especially for organizations with limited derivative portfolios, which may not justify the investment in advanced technology and analytics. Accessing essential market data for calculations is another hurdle, as the necessary parameters may not be readily available. Organizations often rely on external data providers to obtain the required market information, as traditional sources may fall short.